Hey everybody, my name's Kyle, uh, and today I wanted to give you a quick warm-up sequence uh, that you can do pretty much anywhere. So we'll be going through six to eight body weight movements on all of these. Try to do about 10 to 12 reps for each one, and try to move through them quickly with no rest in between. That'll help you get your uh, heart rate up and your body temperature up as well. So first movement, we're gonna start out on our backs. We're gonna do a glute bridge. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips towards the ceiling, keep your core tight. From there, I'm just gonna go into all fours position, raising my opposite arm, opposite leg, and do a bird dog exercise. I'm trying to keep my core active throughout. From there, I'm just gonna take hand right behind my head. I'm gonna do some thoracic spine rotations. This is great, I'm working some mobility in our upper back, opening up our chest. After that, we're gonna go into half kneeling position. So one foot up, stand nice and tall through my hip, through my torso. Just subtle rocks back and forth, trying to mobilize the front of our hip. From there, I'm gonna go into, all, um, into push up position. We do some hip openers. So trying to take our foot right on the outside of our hand and keeping our chest up. From there, we're gonna go into standing. Now we're gonna get moving a little bit. Let's go into body weight squat. You can go arms out front or arms behind your head. You can go 10 reps there. Then our last movement is so we're gonna do an inchworm walk. So walking out to push up position, trying to walk our hands up as high as we can until we feel a hamstring stretch. If you want, you can add a push up in at the bottom, just as added for some added difficulty. So go through that as you warm up. Please don't skip your warm up. It's really important in terms of preventing injury and getting your body ready for working out that day. Thank you.